Good morning, little one. Look at him tapping his foot. He's dancing. All day yesterday. Man, it is cold it in is here. Cold in here. Last couple nights, especially last night. We got down to like 42, I think. Last night. Ooh, it's chilly in here. We might have to try this heater. <laughs> Just open the door. It's starting to get nice out. We have a little bit overcast. Can't tell if it's an overcast of clouds of weather or smoke because there is a fire. The Valentine Forest Fire that's out, I think, by Young or Forest Lakes or something out there. And uh, last couple nights, seems like more at night. <laughs> in the wind or something, the smoke comes in. Like we could smell it in our house. Well, it's a good smell if it's light. If it's heavy, it's it's not. Otherwise, it smells like a campfire. All right. So yesterday. Oh, I'll have to show you all the boards we got. We got a discount half off on boards at Home Depot. Yellow tag sale. And uh, some of them were rough, but... And it was a good deal. Because it was 12... What was it? 1 by 6 by 12 foot for like 9.44 or just about 10 bucks. And the 1 by 6 by 10 of the pine was fifteen dollars and the regular price on this 12 foot was 18 so it may not be as great of a board because both sides aren't smooth one side's kind of rough oh i didn't know that rotated i was going to do that try to figure out how to get that back there too that little glass oh, another line one. maybe it goes on the side because there's oh yeah Just... so anyway um we got a bunch of boards we ended up buying enough boards to do the locomotive um the interior of the locomotive i think we're going to try to do with it and then we're thinking under the eve of the building we're going to do stained wood on the bottom that matches the fascia and then we'll have a black metal roof so i don't know if you could see that through here anyway more to come on that but we got lots of boards we needed some for the top of the cupola so we're gonna do that and then um yeah i think we should put the hardware on these doors real quick and then we can do on the, what doors on these uh cabinet doors that we oh, made
There's one there. Yeah. There's one down here. Maybe that's what's eating your plants, babe. Are you eating my plants? Seriously, could be. It could be why it's, uh, that's they might be feeding on it. Nice. And action! <laughs> It's always 50-50 shot. So we are back. Today is Friday. What September twenty second or something? Taking a break. Taking a break. Oh, you're because your dad and your uncle came up no, yesterday. I mean right now. Oh. So we cut all the pieces. Janae was sanding the floor in the caboose, and then we cut all these pieces for the chair. And so, and we just got done sanding them all. This is the base. And then this will be the back. We're going to use dowels to put these together. Okay. We've got this new jig. Self-centering dowel jig. First time I opened it. I've had it for a couple months. I just haven't done any of these dowels in a little while. I think for any of our caboose projects. So it's been a little while. Anyway, um, but I need it now. We're doing the chair. And I never had half inch on my other jig that I had that you've seen in prior videos. I've um, it's actually a really handy little jig, and it's lightweight and all that. This one is actually a little on the heavy side, but it's definitely appears to be really good quality though. Um, and then, but the nice thing with this and why I had to buy another one is because I didn't have a half inch, and so on Amazon, and these were a lot cheaper to buy on Amazon. So as I was saying when the battery ran out, um, so these were a lot cheaper on Amazon to buy in bulk versus just getting a small pack to like Home Depot. Um, so I definitely recommend checking online sources for that. But this with the half inch, um, the kit did not come with, with drill bits, which is unfortunate. I'm lucky enough to, I have this old half inch drill bit and I only have one. I might have one in the, the metal one, I don't remember, but for the wood, I only had one. And this is an old drill bit. That was an old case from 20 years ago. But anyway, it's working. Um, so, and I put a piece of uh, this metal tape 
on the tip. Um, the other kit came with little blockers, but in this case, I just just need to know like where to stop so I don't go too far. All right. Oh, 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 oh. The only thing I didn't like on this kit, so you see here's all the sizes, right? All the way across, I'm using this half inch one right here. But to see where it lines up with the lines on the board, it's that little line in there. You can't, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it's just that little line up on the on the gadget there on the jig. I don't know why they didn't put them out here, so it's easier to. I don't know. It'd be nice to even or both locations, but anyway, it took me a minute to even find it. I was trying to find where the, where the line is. Even if they did it a triangle group like the other jig, that would be better. But. Anyway. Doing the front and back of these. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? Okay, here we go. So much fun in the city.
center it just a little bit. Down to one shoe. Yeah, babe. What happened? I can take it off so I can stand like this. That's your ostrich pose. <laughs> you do that when you put on makeup or <laughs> brushing your teeth, <laughs> taking off makeup in the mirror. Oh, I do, do that a lot. <laughs> Sometimes it's strange, babe. <laughs> He has no patience today because he can't let anything dry. Drying it takes so long to dry. Are you recording? Well, today is Saturday, September 23rd, and uh, we started on this seat. We did all the pieces yesterday, stained them, and they're still tacky and wet, and one side she just stained. And I, because he doesn't have patience. I'm in a hurry. I want it get this up. I just need to get up there and we could touch up later. Um, this is our chair. Janae's idea. We had a little bit, I was going to arch it and do something, but with this natural, we end up cutting more out both sides to kind of give it that wear, like, you know, and grab the top of the seat over years and hundred years. You know? <laughs> so did that. We did that to the armrest that's staining outside. We, um, Put our brackets in here so these are ready to you could just lift this whole thing set it in bracket down put the the seat in and we're good but um we forgot our camera at well we didn't forget it we were transferring the files and it was taking forever i think i must have had two days of video maybe on there i don't know uh, nobody cares, <laughs> nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares. There's somebody out there that cares. Because <laughs> now we're doing it on this cell phone. But nobody yeah. knows that. Yeah. We got a lot done yesterday. You sanded the rest of the floors. Yeah, it looks good. And we got all the pieces cut out for the chair. And while well, we did the brackets on top, that looked actually pretty cool. I think we did that after they turned off the camera. So just plug it away. Um. <laughs> you made me uh, it's only like ten thirty. It's eleven, eleven fifteen, I think. All right, so I'm just gonna 
these in real quick. How they go from the front back. Okay, so what we're doing today, working on windows. We started on it last night. I think we stopped the video before we started working on the windows last night, but these are around the frames. We used, simply used a piece of paper along the window and just used the, what do you call it, press it down. It made a little crevice and it was able to, or crease, and was able to cut around it. So with that, we used the pattern to cut the, the windows. So we did that for top and bottom, letting that dry, and then we'll do the board that, that connect those. Yeah, we did crack two of them. Try to put them in and hammer it so that we could see the, where the holes are. So all the windows have these screws popping out, these bolts popping out. And I think it's for the, like the rivets or the connectors on the outside of the caboose. So instead of working around it, we just drill holes in here so that they fit, but we had to know where they are. So we just pounded the hammer in to see the hole and then drilled it deeper. All right, what are we working on now, Janae? The scrap wood and this. So these are for the trash cans inside. We're gonna do a trim around the top of it just to dress it up better. So with that, we just need to make sure we can make a connector in between wherever this is gonna be. So I think these are ready to, we're gonna put the little dowels in there, glue it, let it sit overnight. And we cut it out just like we did the heart on the dog house at home. September 26. Like to repurpose things. These they turned out all right, huh? We need to do the other side, though, right? Oh, yeah, I could do that. They're not flat, flat. I'm wondering if we could put a felt under it to help. Um, or something just to. I don't even know. We'll figure it out.
Oh, there you are. Oh, we're done for the day. A lot of people been taking pictures from the road driving by. There's a lot of people visiting. Um, Getting the weed. All right, so today we have got the windows done and uh, turned out pretty good. Being rustic and not too bad, really. It goes in with everything else. And uh, we have the trim that's going to go around the windows. We just got done sanding. And staining. Janae just got done staining. There she is again. <laughs> we are heading out for the day. We uh we did get all the boards cut for all the angle cuts. So it took a little bit because each one was different. So we had two just slightly different, but even if it's an eighth, we just went ahead and and um cut it all to exact size. So got all those down both sides and we're gonna let them dry overnight and then we'll put them up tomorrow Cut a little piece off and you screw the toilet and, and bam! Yes. It's sparkling clean. It does work. 